The London sewerage system is part of the water infrastructure serving London, England. The modern system was developed during the late 19th century, and as London has grown the system has been expanded. It is currently owned and operated by Thames Water and serves almost all of Greater London. History During the early 19th century the River Thames was an open sewer, with disastrous consequences for public health in London, including cholera epidemics. These were caused by entrotoxin producing strains of the bacterium Vibrio cholerae. Although the contamination of the water supply was correctly diagnosed by Dr. John Snow in 1849 as the method of communication, it was believed that miasma, or smell, was responsible right up to the outbreak of 1866. Proposals to modernize the sewerage system had been made during 1856, but were neglected due to lack of funds. However, after the Great Stink of 1858, Parliament realized the urgency of the problem and resolved to create a modern sewerage system. Joseph Bazalgette, a civil engineer and chief engineer of the Metropolitan Board of Works, was given responsibility for the work. He designed an extensive underground sewerage system that diverted waste to the Thames estuary, downstream of the main center of population. Six main interceptor sewers, totaling almost 100 miles in length, were constructed some incorporating stretches of London's Lost Rivers. Three of these sewers were north of the river, the southernmost, low-level one being incorporated in the Thames Embankment. The embankment also allowed new roads, new public gardens, and the circle line of the London Underground. Victoria Embankment was finally officially opened on July 13, 1870. The intercepting sewers, constructed between 1859 and 1865, were fed by 450 miles of main sewers that, in turn, conveyed the contents of some 13,000 miles of smaller local sewers. Construction of the interceptor system required 318 million bricks, 2.7 million cubic meters of excavated earth and 670,000 cubic meters of concrete. The innovative use of Portland cement strengthened the tunnels, which were in good order 150 years later. Gravity allows the sewage to flow eastwards, but in places such as Chelsea, Detford and Abbey Mills, pumping stations were built to raise the water and provide sufficient flow. Sewers north of the Thames feed into the Northern Outfall Sewer, which feeds into a major treatment works at Beckton. South of the river, the Southern Outfall Sewer extends to a similar facility at Crossness. During the 20th century, major improvements were made to the sewerage system and to the sewage treatment provision to substantially reduce pollution of the Thames estuary and the North Sea. Modern Development Needs The original system was designed to cope with 6.5 mm per hour of rainfall within the catchment area, and supported a smaller population than today our Euro unregistered trademark S. London's growth has put pressure on the capacity of the sewerage system. During storms for example, high levels of rainfall in a short period of time can overwhelm the system. Sewers and treatment works are unable to cope with the large volumes of rainwater entering the system. Rainwater mixes with sewage and combined sewers and excess mixed water is discharged into the Thames. If this does not happen quickly enough, localized flooding occurs. Such sanitary sewer overflow can mean streets becoming flooded with a mixture of water and sewage causing a health risk. In redeveloping the Isle of Dogs and Royal Docks areas of East London during the late 1980s and early 1990s, the London Docklands Development Corporation invested in major new drainage infrastructure to manage future sewage and surface water runoff from proposed developments. Consulting engineer Sir William Alcrow and partners designed a system of large diameter tunnels served by new pumping stations. In the Royal Docks, Approximately 16 miles of foul and surface water drains were built, plus pumping stations at Tidal Basin and North Woolwich. The Isle of Dogs drainage network is served by a stormwater pumping station situated in Stewart Street, designed by John Outram Associates. Equals Thames Tideway Scheme equals. Increasing the carrying capacity of London the Euro unregistered trademark S sewerage system has been debated for some years. Proposals for the Thames Tideway include a wide diameter storage and transfer tunnel, 22 miles long, 
underneath the riverbed of the Thames between Hammersmith in the west and Beckton Crossness in the east, but as the cost of such a megaprodulum is likely to be substantial, investment decisions have been slow and forthcoming. In March 2007 the Mayor of London announced that the project will proceed with completion expected by 2020. Because design and construction of such a tunnel will take an estimated 15 years, a shorter-term interim solution has also been developed. This A1.6 billion pounds scheme involves two shorter tunnels and improvements to associated treatment facilities. Literary or media references, the system plays a large part in English writer Neil Gaiman's 1996 novel Neverwhere. The system plays a part in Australian writer Michael Robotham's 2005 novel Lost. It featured as one of the seven wonders of the industrial world in the BBC television series of the same name. Eleanor Updale's Montmorency novels are set against the backdrop of construction of the London sewerage system. The London sewerage system is also featured in Guitar Hero, Smash It's as one of the venues. The London sewerage system plays a large part in English writer Claire Clark's 2005 novel The Great Stink. The construction of the London sewer system is central to the plot of Anne Perry's 2006 novel Dark Assassin, in which The Great Stink is also mentioned. The title character from Terry Pratchett's Dodger, based on the artful Dodger from Oliver Twist, spends much of his time in London sewers alongside notable historical figures including Basil Jett. The sewer system plays a part in Ben Aronovich's 2012 novel Whispers Underground. It is the scene of the pursuit of the villain in Edgar P. Jacobs' 1956 comic book The Yellow M. See also, Medical Officer of Health for London, Metropolitan Commission of Sewers, Tosha. References. Notes. External links, Tales of the Underworld from The Guardian Wednesday 30 March 2005.